Well guys, I think it is about time that this series finally comes to an end. It's been a while since we've done an episode of the Beginner's Guide playthrough series, and that's really just because I didn't know what else to really go over. We've covered so many things as to like how to get started in the Hunter Call of the Wild, what perks and skills to use, where to hunt for money, uh, what species to hunt to get that money, how to gain XP, how to bow hunt, how to choose which rifles you're going to use for which animals. We have gone through so many different things in the game and covered most of what I can think of. So I think it's only fair that we turn this series into something different that will hopefully provide more valuable information for all of you. So I've decided that this will be the last episode of the Beginner's Guide playthrough series and instead we are going to be starting a new series using the exact same account. This technically will not be the end of the leveling up process, but instead we are going to be transitioning into another series that will kind of go over the process of building every single multi-mount in the game with either rares, diamonds, or great ones. So. That is where we're going to take this series from now on because at this point in somebody's time playing the game level 36 you would probably start to want to try and find yourself some cool trophies to put in your lodge. So I think that is what we are going to do from now on. We are going to turn this series into building every single multi-mount in the game. I told you guys recently that I wanted to try and do this a series where we built every single multi-mount and I think this really is the perfect opportunity to not only put a close to the beginners series but also start a brand new one on the exact same account and in a way it's a continuation of the beginners guide playthrough. The only reason that we're going to uh, end this series and start a new one that's essentially the same thing just building multi mounts is the fact that it would be kind of a uh, impossible title to make beginner's guide playthrough series episode whatever it is like 20 uh, building multi mounts episode one it, it just wouldn't work out so we're going to have to end this series and start a brand new one. And quite honestly, I think we might even just call it Beginner's Guide Playthrough Season 2 or something like that. That way you guys can see that it's still a part of the same series and new people that are watching the uh, series for the first time will be able to tell that it is a part of the same series. So we might end up doing that, but I'm not 100% sure yet. But if you guys are excited for Chapter 2 of this series, be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what multi-mount we should start out with and also what you think of the idea. Do you think it's going to be fun to watch a series where we build every single multi-mount or do you think that that is going to be too much? I definitely think it could be quite helpful to a lot of people as I see so many comments and questions every single day on how to hunt for a specific animal, where to look for them, uh, how to go about building a specific multi-mount. So I think this will actually be a series that a lot of you will appreciate and will enjoy watching. It is going to be a very uh, lengthy and difficult series to finish most likely as it takes a long time to get all of the different trophies. But we are going to attempt it at least and if you guys appreciate all of the work and effort that I put into making these daily videos and live streams, uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel as it does help out a lot and it also shows me that you guys are enjoying the content and helps motivate me to make more of it. But anyway, since we are going to be ending this series, I think it's only fair that we try to level up a couple times more during this uh, episode here. So we're going to take another hunt out on Verhonga Savannah and try to kill a ton of lions to get some more cash and XP uh, to help fund all of our uh, multi-mount building endeavors in the future in uh, part two of this series. Or is it season two or I don't even know at this point. Well, whatever it's going to be, we'll figure out a name at a later date. But whenever we get to the uh, second half of this series, building all the multi-mounts, I want to have a good amount of cash built up and also a few more levels under my belt so we can hopefully get all of our skills and perks and be able to purchase all the tents and tripods we're going to need in order to do a series like this. So we're going to try and get as much as we can today during this episode and is see if we can end with a, a good amount of cash and XP. 
And already we got a ton of lions out here. I probably should have bought more ammo for the 300 Magnum before running clear over here. Uh, but it is what it is. We can't always remember everything. We will have to go back and grab some shortly. This should be a good shot on this guy. And yes, we did get a shot sunk into him. Level 5 down range. Let's see if we end up hitting the tree. It looks like... No, we actually did end up hitting the lion. Oh my gosh, that's a blonde. <laughs> that's a blonde lion. Wow, of course I get it on the Beginner's Guide playthrough account and not my main account. I have been after one of these for quite a while now. You guys have been watching the live streams where I've been trying to find one of these blonde lions and I just randomly get one on the Beginner's Guide account. Why does this always happen? I swear I get some of the coolest trophies on this account and can't even put them in the lodge on my main account because it's on a completely separate one. Man, that is like the worst best luck ever. I honestly just cannot believe our luck on this series. We have had so many cool lion trophies. We ended up getting that albino one and now we've got a blonde one. What an awesome thing to end up getting. Let's go ahead and tax that right now. I can't believe my first ever blonde male isn't even on my main account. That is unfortunate, but it's still cool that we got one. I honestly can't complain. This is uh, quite an amazing thing to get. Well, so much for saving up money. We're not going to be saving too much up at this rate, considering we keep finding uh, stuff that we got to taxidermize. But, you know, I suppose that is a, a bit of a move towards completing some of these multi-mounts, so that's awesome. There is the last two on this end of the lake, and then we're going to head back over to the tent and pick up the two that we killed over there, as well as buy some more ammo, because we are dangerously low. But first, we've got another lion right there, so let's just drop that guy real quickly, and then we can head over and buy some more ammo. I think I'm going to stock up on a good bit of it because we're going to be using so much of this ammo. Let's get ourselves up to 200 rounds. That took about a little bit under 20,000 currency, which is definitely not cheap, but it'll definitely be worth it as the 300 Magnum is one of the best rifles for class 7 to 9 animals. There we go. These are the two that we shot over here by the tent. And now we got to go try to pick up that one. And that should be the final dead lion on this lake. We are probably going to move to another lake while we wait for uh, these guys to respawn over here. Because there is no more as of now and we've kind of lit this area up. I know this is a pretty good lake for lions. I don't really have a tent near it though. So we probably won't head there right now. I think what we're going to do is run through this lake right here. All right, we got a couple lions over here at this leg. Let's try to drop one into that guy. There's another over here. I'm assuming it'll run out after we have shot. Though it's not looking like it so far. There is the other one. Let's try to get a shot sunk into him if we can. That might have hit the tree. It's really hard to tell. Yeah, we definitely hit the tree there. We'll drop another into him. And that should take him down, but I mean, just for good measure, might as well do one more. There we go. There is the level five and unfortunately the level seven is floating, but by the time we get back there, it should already have floated over. So I guess it's not too big of a deal. Just a little bit unfortunate. Now, I think since this video is going to be very much just trying to grind out XP and money most likely not going to show the majority of the kills that we get from now on unless it is something notable uh, in an effort to make sure this video isn't like 30 minutes long. Well, there we go with our uh, very first mythical lion of the day. Have not seen any of these at all during this little uh, grinding session, so it's good to see one of them pop out. There is another lion over here, but I haven't got a good look at it. It seems like that is a level six, and I think we just got a shot into it as well. Well, uh, that was the mythical. I guess I didn't realize it ran down to the shore, so I claimed it super quick. But you know what? It is what it is. It's just a mythical. No chance of it making diamonds, so uh, I guess we'll just move on. Finally, another mythical has shown its face. We haven't found anything better than a mythical as of now. I did uh, level up a couple times since we started the video. 
and we have put another uh, perk point into uh, reload speed, or I guess it's called lightning hands. And we are able to reload a little bit quicker now. I'm not sure how that shot missed. We're going to take one more and then also take a shot at this guy if he can give us one. But he's kind of running around, but that should be good right there. And I guess it wasn't as good of a shot as I thought. I'm going to assume that that was probably a spine hit, and that wasn't a good shot either, so one more into him also. And there he is, the level 8 lion. A second one that we have ended up finding today. At least we're getting a few decent ones. Another mythical. We are definitely starting to get the big male lions to finally show up. This is the third one, and this is only one run after the last one. And there we have it, a 46.61, so a uh, much smaller mythical than some of the ones that we have seen. Well, as we have now hit level 40, I think it's time that we uh, bring this episode to a close. We've managed to get up to 152,000 XP as well as 122,000 currency uh, just from shooting a ton of lions right here. So you guys can see this is the way to go in terms of XP and money. Now let's take a look at our little lion collection. This was from quite a few episodes ago, this beautiful albino as well as this diamond right here. But in today's episode we got this blonde lion which I still am so sad that I don't have one of these on my main account. We're gonna have to continue grinding on that account and try to get a blonde lion for a multi mount but we've got it here at least so we can finally say that we have killed one and there's quite a difference between all three of these lions. It's uh, kind of crazy to look at but we got ourselves some absolute beauties. With that being said, guys, thank you for being here for the final episode of the Beginner's Guide playthrough series. We will be starting up uh, Phase 2 or Season 2 or whatever you want to call it of this series where we build every single multi-mount, hopefully somewhat soon. We will see. I'm going to wait till the comments are all in on this video right here and then read through them all and see what you guys think and then we will get it started thank you all for being here so much and i will see you all in the next one peace